what's going on everybody so here we go we have an update for the dji mavic air 2. so first off go into the uh, ios app update it you should now have version 1.1.6 and in this version we've got updates to the display logic for the battery and flight time alerts so a lot of people complained before because it was white and on the screen it kind of like got hidden with the background it also, this is a big, big update, huge. And uh, props to DJI for finally adding this. This was a big request by everybody. Um, it adds advanced gimbal settings for the Mavic Air 2. So now we can have full control over that gimbal. Um, the pitch speed was way too fast on it. And of course, you know, there are bugs and all those other little things to fix overall stability. So let's get to it. All right, so open up the app. Turn everything on. So now we can see new battery request firmware update. So we're gonna do that. As you can see, I have two others to do. So I got the fly more combo pack. So I'm gonna do each one individually, turn off the drone, pop in the next battery, update the uh, batteries as needed, and then we'll come back to the next step. Um, so now we're gonna go into go fly. And let's have a look here. So now you can see on the top right, you can see that the battery has 57%. Now if you tap that, really neat. It's going to show the timing until it's going to return to home. It's going to show the time until it forces the landing. And note that you can still cancel that forced landing. And until the battery is fully depleted. So it's really neat they show everything. Right now, because I'm not flying, not in the air, it's not going to show those details. Then the gimbal. So if we go in, click the three bars, go to controls. And now you are going to see advanced gimbal settings. You can click in there. So now you have it in the normal mode. You can go in and then ch change everything here. You can change your pitch speed, pitch smoothness, the yaw, the yaw smoothness. Then in tripod mode, same thing. You can adjust each thing. And then in sport. So maybe in sport you want it to be fast because you want that high action. Uh, in tripod mode, obviously we want that really, really slow. And then normal. I would probably have normal and uh, tripod mode the same. So the aircraft update is still 0.1.2. 00.0250 and that is it so let's go outside and uh, put the bird in the air and all right so you see we've changed places because i want to be able to take off and watch my drone so again we go into the three dots on the top right okay and again you can see here you can barely see the rc connection the satellites all of that right and that's what it was before for the battery so they made it a lot clearer now. So I'm going to set this in tripod mode. And you can see right away, see how much smoother it is set at that 10. And you see when I let go of the stick on the side here, so you see the scroll wheel. So as I let go, see how it comes down, but it's still a little too fast for me. So that pitch smoothness. So let's turn it up, let's go to 25. Now again, up, and I release. And you see how it takes a little bit longer to stop? So it's much more smoother. Let's try 20. And again, you have to play with this to what you like. So again, I release. A little bit too much. Let's quick stop still for my liking. 22 seems good. All right, so as I mentioned before on these settings here, until return to home time, until force landing, until battery depleted. So let's take this bird in the air. So you can see the uh, smoothness now. So as I pitch down and I release, see it too fast. I want it to slowly come to a stop. Not so hard. There, uh, I really like that one now. About 18. Again, you have to adjust it to your liking. Speed, put it to 15. A little too fast. So 12. There, that's pretty good. 
so now again so if I push the um, battery you can see so I got seven minutes and 55 seconds until it's going to return to home nine minutes and 21 seconds until it's going to force that landing and once again remember you can stop that at any time so it does not have to actually be forced and 12 minutes and 20 seconds until the battery is fully depleted so here it is in sports you can see see how rough that is and it's just jarring it just stops so that's sport mode with that scroll wheel normal mode more smoother but it comes to a abrupt stop. Tripod now, the one that I adjusted. It's slower and it slowly pans. Comes up and slowly pans. Alright, so let's go back in and I'll just uh, give a final review and uh, everything on there without all this noise around me. Alright, so there you have it. New update for the DJI Mavic Air 2. Thank you DJI for finally giving us full control over the gimbal settings. This is one of the biggest things I had it on my older drones and I really missed it on this one, especially when you're trying to get some cinematic shots. Most of you probably don't care, you just wanna fly the drone and that's all right too, but for some of us that want to, we're able to. The other nice thing that I really like about it is those settings can be changed whether you're using it in tripod mode or if you want to use it in normal. So normal, maybe you don't want it fully stopping and you maybe want it a little bit faster. And then tripod, you really want to slow it down, you're able to. Uh, little bug fixes, all that kind of stuff. So just remember, update your iOS app, plug in each of the batteries to let them update. To adjust all your settings on the gimbal, I do suggest having the drone in the air. You, you Then you get a better feel of what it's doing. I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to get some useful information out of it. So if you did, please give a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. Just click that button. Um, if you found this video was not useful for you, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Just do me a favor and click it twice. So thumbs down, click it twice. Thanks for watching.